What is going on guys? Wiser here and I am bringing you part two of the One Hive 2.0 Family Christmas Spectacular uh, and it was spectacular. Uh, this video I'm going to show you the 2.0 attacks, another lengthy one for you because there are just too many good attacks. I just, we had so much fun doing this guys. The friendly kind of chirping going back and forth in line is just awesome. Um, we're going to hop right into this though because again, uh, I think I got about seven or so replays I'm going to show you guys. So a bit of a lengthy one, but let's start off with Ryan's hit on JJ here. <clears throat> really, really just kind of standard uh, stoned goho he brings here, uh, but with the 11 wizards. And what I liked about this is going to go in from the six o'clock. Huge spread on these golems, right? Because he knows the, the defenses are going to draw the golems there. So just goes ahead and uses that, right? Brings extra wizards, drops four or five wizards behind these golems, just starts clearing out this huge, huge funnel. Because really, once that archer tower goes down, this whole kind of side's free for them to clean up a little bit. You can kind of see just the patience here, really just working that huge, huge funnel. That golem's going to walk over it. Keep in mind, just now drops that max golem out of his clan castle. Uh, so it's going to go ahead and go right into this, these defenses. King, nice, nice delay on that king as well. Rage goes down. Golem's going to move right in. King's going to just run right over to that queen, smack her down in no time. You see that poison went down handle off that dragon. Queen's going to step up and finish it off in one moment. So really just amazing. Like, look at this, like 43% of this base, um, Archer Queen's down, CC's down, uh, great, great value on that stone entry. His King is still in there without a popped ability. There it goes. Finally going to end up getting the expo chamber here as well. Cause this queen still has her ability and 21 hogs. He's about to release. Uh, with two heals for them as well. Just wanted to make sure those bombs went down and instantly, as soon as they do, you can see he starts sending in the hogs, uh, almost like an angel wall, just a few um, few hogs on each defense, just really just going to try and feed everything to these Teslas. There goes that first heal. They're just going to shred through this section of the base. One Tesla down, a couple more to go. <clears throat> but looking good. Second heal, just overlap that a little bit. You may as well, you brought them. Um, and again, the, the double Teslas can start roasting hogs even through a heal. So nice job just kind of uh, uh, stacking up that heal there. Uh, great attack, Ryan. Uh, look at all these hogs left over. Uh, and the base is done. Like 89, 90% of the base is already done. The cleanup is done. A few more trash buildings to go. Sexy tree star, buddy. Beautiful. All right. Next attack. <laughs> I like this one. This is him uh, from Swarm going in on MK. MK uh, is the master of the Stone Goho, and his own base gets Stone Goho. Uh, that's why I had to show this one. Uh, him goes ahead, just goes right in from this nine o'clock location. Notice the double jump though. Uh, that's a big key, especially to a base like this that has proper chamber uh, sizing. Um, you bring that double jump and you ensure the stone just gets big value. The thing about these neutral zones as well, uh, I've said this in a video before, you can kind of use it because you know where the pathing is going to go. If you, um, if you drop a jump down here, things are just going to go straight into that chamber because they're not going to wander up into that neutral zone. <clears throat> so you see, that's exactly what Hin does right here. He just kind of uh, uh, uses that neutral zone uh, pathing to his advantage. Uh, out comes a CC, down go the poisons. Queen's right in there anyways. I love the witches as well. So this is a stone with two witches. Like that is just insane amount of tanking. But when you have that double jump, it's going to let you into a huge, huge piece of this base. And you can see he really needed it because uh, one witch gets taken down there. Still has a bunch of skellies in there, but they're getting roasted pretty quickly. The golems are moving in, kind of doing their job. But his king is... Um, is dead i believe yeah his king is dead so the queen has to step up here and finish the job so she locks onto the king gonna take him out the kind of good that um that she locked onto the king and chased him a bit otherwise she would have locked on that clan castle and never got the defensive queen but as you can see hits the ability the defense queen goes down instantly he still has golems in there going to be doing some tanking for this huge group of hogs he's now sent in from the two o'clock location healed down over that tesla hell looking fantastic at this point doesn't have any more heals but doesn't really need it because that golem just split. It's going to do a lot of tanking while these hogs work their way right into the remaining section of this base. Down goes the cannon. Down goes the expo. So many hogs in there. That Tesla and Arch Tower don't stand a chance. Clean up time. Sexy attack in. Taking down the hog master himself. <clears throat> Tons of hogs left too. Great job, buddy. Tree stars in the bag. 
All right, what's next? 11 hoodies base gets taken down by Nightmare. Got my Timmy's here today. If you've never had a Tim Hortons coffee, you don't know coffee. It's addicting. <clears throat> so Nightmare goes ahead and opens up that big section of the base with those earthquakes, sends in a few hogs to get this uh, lure going. One thing um, about Valks is there's a few CC comps that can really uh, screw them up. Lavahound is not one of them, but uh, he did that so he could do the little archer trek and take the Lavahound completely out of play. Uh, but if you find like drag loons or some wizards, they can really ruin some Valk days. Uh, you know, even a golem, I found out uh, an explosion when they kill the golem will take your Valks down to a max Valk to almost half health. Um, so you do have to burn a heal when it's a golem as well. And yeah, I use them so because they shred through the golem so quickly, and the whole purpose of the golem is to delay you. Um, but you do have to sh heal them shortly after because they're going to be left at pretty low health from that golem explosion. Uh, but everything's moving in just nicely, right? Uh, earthquake right on the edge, like perfect earthquake placement. You look at that, that corner and that corner both got taken out. Tesla L is doing some serious work, but that queen's about to step up and finish that business. As soon as they take care of that dark elixir storage, the rest of these defenses are going to be completely vulnerable. You see the Valks kind of taking a bit of a walk over here. Um, I thought it was good that they take down these buildings before that cannon. Uh, Cause now the Valks are going to rope back up, but really a huge set. Like this base is so crippled now at this point, the Tesla hell is gone. The queen is dead. Uh, CC is taken care of. There's only a three, four chambers, maybe worth the defenses left. And here come the hogs, right? So he's got a heal for these hogs. He's going to go ahead and I believe use it around this three o'clock section. Yeah, there it is. A uh, lot of point defense there. So just wants to feed all these hogs in really after this compartment, there's two wizard towers and a cannon remaining. Just kill this base nightmare. Three more hogs to reinforce on that wizard tower. Will the King's tank in it even too. Just great, great troop placement, man. An amazing earthquake placement like that. You can't get a more perfect earthquake than that. That is absolute corner to corner max earthquake right there clean up time sexy job buddy finally love when that lava hound bursts your archers finally get it at the end you're like uh oh <laughs> it doesn't matter though nice job buddy always bring those sexy attacks nightmare always this valk see see i'm following your footsteps <clears throat> uh ryan king brett has a nice attack here uh brings oh king brett i don't know I, i'm sure maybe someone's done this before but uh watch what brett does here so brett just goes ahead and does a standard uh king for queen swap here uh that king's standing in there but as soon as that gold storage goes down he's going to take one more step up that queen's going to fire at him draw him right in there he goes smack down that Defensive queen, like nothing, oh, barely gets her. <laughs> Shouldn't say like nothing, but watch what happens. So he gets the lure, pulls this golem out. I thought this was really neat. This is like the healer trick for the golem, except he drops a wizard and it actually works out great. Does this, does this little tiny like wizard walk. I think it was hilarious. Uh, I actually thought when the golem ex uh, exploded, the wizard was gonna die. Um, Turns out I was wrong. So uh, as you can see, that wizard's going to do work up there, and he goes ahead and sends in this uh, entry down at the bottom. Has the one golem only cold-blooded. Going to feed it right into that chamber. Look at that. Wizard's still working. <laughs> and then sends in a bunch of Valks in behind. Um, only the... Th oh, uh, sorry, not a bunch, but three Valks in behind. Uh, they're going to get basically this whole chamber. Notice there's no jump spell, right? So he just wanted to kind of take out this whole chamber, get his queen up into position to start taking out uh, this core uh, and help on this expo. And then goes ahead and sends in the hogs from the uh, kind of eight o'clock location. Heel goes down over those Teslas, very, very smart. Poison goes down instantly too. It's gonna take care of those skeletons in one moment down the, oh, the skellies, so good poison placement. A few more hogs on that cannon. See this wizard still doing work out there. He's taking the goal mode and he's gonna start walking around the space. I thought that was just awesome. Uh, Queen's still in there doing work. She still has the ability as well. Um, Golemites are gonna just kind of do a little bit of tanking, give her some time to step up to these defenses. And he's gonna burn that ability and take out the rest of, rest of this stuff right here too boom there goes the ability yep uh gonna move up take out that uh, wizard tower and i think that's about all she does but the rest of these hogs are gonna come in off this backside look at all these hogs 
absolutely fantastic. Another poison goes down for the skeletons. Uh, takes them out, but the hogs turn on them. Anyways, get out of here, kitty. You'll find my cat does that quite frequently. Her favorite spot is right on top of my mouse, actually, on my mouse pad. And, uh, yeah, that's no bueno. Hogs clean up this base, though. King Brett just smokes it. Nice job, buddy. Sexy tree star. All right. Click clack. Coming in with a sexy, just standard shattered goho here. Three heals, one jump. Uh, so kind of watch how he plays this. Drops the one goal nice and far so he knows he's going to walk. Does the same thing on the other side. Ends up just kind of walking over to the... Oh, no, it does go to the mortar. Does redirect to that open mortar. But going to create a large, large funnel because of the, uh, the placement of that. And as soon as that mortar goes down, the goal even just kind of stands there for a sec to buy those wizards a little more time to take down that cold storage. Everything's moving right into this queen chamber, though. Poison goes down. Take care of the dragon loons. Queen's going to step up and help finish it off. King's in on that defensive queen. Just kind of going to take out a big chunk of this base now. And I see 30 hogs. He's already commenced at the uh, 7 o'clock location. First heal goes down uh, when that Tesla pops. So that was really good placement on that because it's going to heal him all the way through these defenses up to that air defense. Even triggers that bomb one at a time. Just barely, barely misses bacon on that. So I, uh, I thought that was just a... Fantastic read. I, I think he knew he was going to single trip that the way he deployed his hogs. Uh, and they're standing under the, the very edge of that heal too. So that was nice. Uh, two more heals go down. The one hog trips that DGB as well. So <laughs> just, I don't know if it was very planned or just a little bit of luck on your side, but click clack. Look how many hogs he got left, buddy. Just sexy, sexy attack. He just ripped this base apart. Archer Tower is the last defense to go down. Clean up time. Ooh, that king. Gave his queen a little bit of trouble there. I didn't miss that in the first time I watched this. Too many hogs for that king, though. Nice three-star, buddy. Sexy. All right. We're down to the 20s. Yeah. Oki brought a really, really nice attack here. Um, so five healers in this army comp. Um, I believe it's uh, two Laba Hounds and one Golem. So goes ahead and starts the queen walk down at this six o'clock position. Gets insane value from this queen walk. She's going to walk in, take out the king, all of this, including the air defense, continue walking all the way up and around and get that air defense. So basically this entire section is taken out by this queen walk. Uh, I'm pretty sure Oki just got a uh, level 30 queen too. So congrats. Uh, that's awesome. I can't wait. Uh, mine's 25. Almost had my 25 king. So I'm almost 25, 25. Mm pretty happy with that uh, but as you see the queen's gonna start uh, see this you know level 26 king but just not even touching that queen she's just gonna rip him down take out the rest of this continue the walk up i'm gonna times two this for this little duration of the walk because it takes a little bit of time again this extra 30 seconds just <laughs> makes these queen walks op because they can take as long as they want really um you can see only two minutes remaining in this replay and still has not sent in the rest of his kill squad. There it goes finally. So the cold blooded entry on right on top of that Tesla, creating a little mini funnel for his king. He's going to jump right over to that defensive queen, smack down the queen, uh, and then go ahead and send in two Lava Hounds and a bunch of balloons on this remaining air defense in that section of the base. Like really, really good. Nice plan. Okay. I like this one a lot. A lot of moving parts. See that king go in there, smacking down that queen, rages it up. See you later. They pull that Lava Hound up but it doesn't matter at this point because their job is done down goes that uh, second last uh, air defense and these wizards are kind of moving in it, they're gonna allow uh the lava hounds to get right on top of this before the expos even target them looking good at this point two two three and three i like that rage goes down gonna knock the balloons right off that cannon into this compartment and everything's going to shoot right down towards this tesla hell um has that haste there to kind of keep moving everything he's going to drop another rage and then another rage and just crushes the rest of this base nice job on that oki see those air skeletons even in there that's going to be a more common thing now too after the update is uh air skeletons um I've been kind of playing with, I don't know, uh, it's tough because I like using uh, ground skeletons to kind of uh, help protect against queen walks or just help protect your queen too. It kind of ties units up. Um, but air skeletons are becoming a lot more viable. As you can see, actually, it was a swag rage. <laughs> nice job, Oki. There it is. Swag rage. <laughs> nice job. Sexy.
five healers. Like think about like five healers is a huge investment, but when you can take out that many valuable buildings with five healers, it's totally worth the investment, especially with this extra 30 seconds now, because time was always the issue on these queen walks, right? So now that it's not really an issue, this is, uh, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, Heisenberg going in on juice. I like this attack because it has Valks. And you know how I am with Valks. Um, but goes ahead and brings the, uh, here's the other little OP part, the extra spell. So doesn't bring the poison, goes ahead and gets the four earthquakes and then, uh, three more whole spells. So two heals and a rage ops for 10 Valks. That is another large investment and 10 wizards. So it only leaves them with 12 hogs, but you're going to see it doesn't really matter. Um, because the hogs are almost moot. <laughs> uh, they do help, obviously, but uh, goes ahead and sends in the free wall breakers. Nothing to touch those wall breakers. Golem's going to go in. It's going to send in the other golem on the other side there. A little bit of tanking. Funnel's going to get created. Doesn't need to create a huge, huge funnel because of that elixir storage right on the edge there. If you kill those buildings on the side, now anything you drop here, including Valks, yes, including Valks, I know they're crazy, but that breadcrumb is there. The Valks, everything. Look, even backup wizards. Just huge parade of units going into this open, open section of the base. Rage goes down. Um, I mentioned this before as well. I'm still not 100%. Like, look at those Valks. They're already out of the rage. Like, you probably could have just dropped that one heal there and then still had two more heals and use them for your uh, section of your hogs. Uh, I think the rage was only useful for the queen because uh, she did get a little bit of eye out of it. So how do you how do you critique it? But um, I know with my Valking, I, I generally offer three heals. And as you can see, that second heal goes down, keeping those Valks up. They're going to shred through this leg wall in like two hits, <laughs> shred through that queen in one hit. Just loved how they, they noticed the queen. They're like, bam, just... 10 Valks just based almost one shot on Lego wall and then right in and destroyed that queen. Tesla farm is down. See, here's what I mean by the, the hogs being moot. Um, they've already been deployed. They really only took a, this section up here. Um, probably could have just held off completely on them and then uh, use them for once the once these Valkyries and stuff, or even right now when the queen's in there doing tanking, if you had those 12 hogs moving in on there, that would have just made this that much quicker and safer of an attack, I guess, if you want to say. But again, how do you, how do you critique a three-star like this? Nice job, Heisenberg. 15, 16 heroes as well. So and it's Lava Wall pretty much. Well, not max Town Hall 9, but a, a well-set-out good Town Hall 9. Gonna fast forward this bit because the box gotta do all the cleanup and then take other defenses. Uh goal might get in there too. I thought that was kind of neat. Um, because it gives this queen just a little bit of time and then uh, she does get taken out, but also then buys the Valks time and that wizard time to take out that uh last remaining Arch Tower. Nice job, Heisenberg. Three stars. All right, one more attack to show you. DLT getting hit by King. I believe this was a call out. I could be wrong. I think this was a call out in the family lounge prior to the <laughs> one of those uh, friendly chirpings going back and forth. Uh, King brings Valks again. Love it, but this time kind of a couple less Valks, a few more hogs. Kind of this is the more this is what I'm a little more accustomed to on my Gova hose. Um, shattered entry. Everything's looking pretty at this point. Huge, huge funnels. Valks aren't going anywhere. King's gonna go in kind of right behind this uh, goal. Uh, drops the jump spell over that section to kind of move everything in here. Uh, what I was surprised at was that jump does not connect with everything to the queen. Uh, so you kind of see how this plays out here. The box are going to go in and do their thing, right? He, he brings the three heals, no rage. I like that. See that heal is going to give them huge, huge value. Keeping them healed through the golem explosion, keeping them healed under those both those Teslas. They're going to jump over, finally work through these Teslas. going to drop another heal, I believe. Another heal, maybe not. Maybe he's saving the two heals for his 18 hogs. I swear he dropped two heals on those Valks. But see what I mean? Like they get caught up. That jump did not connect the Valks. Um, but they're still just kind of getting in there, doing their job. Going to finish off that expo and then start trying to beat in towards that queen. So there goes that first heal for the hogs. Keeping everything alive. He's got a ton of hogs moving in here. The queen's going to start opening fire on them. And it doesn't, you just kind of plays it like the queen's not even there. <laughs> Poison goes down, which helps slow the rate of fire for the queen. Going to take out that arch tower and they're going to 
pretty much get out of range there. He needs to get to that Tesla to, to have them survive. Uh, the queen does get a ton of uh, ton of hogs, but it still turns out to be a three star. It doesn't matter. His queen's kind of coming up from the six o'clock position doing cleanup. The king's doing the same thing from the other side. They're eventually going to get back over to where these hogs are and help with the, the remaining um, section uh, or the help with this queen. Sorry, my bad. Uh, but as soon, this king's going to lock on and sex start beating on the wall. But you'll see what I mean. Like the, she's just going to stand there. Can you just try and do damage? But it's just not enough, right? It's got enough on this cleanup. And that is your three stars in the bag. Nice job, Kinger. Couple high hit points left in the middle there. See, like this must have been a super close attack. <laughs> like really, really close. There's no way it wasn't. Um, but nice to show a three star where the queen doesn't die. That doesn't happen very often. Three in the back. All right, so there's your attacks. You know, like I said, great, fun, just friendly, awesome war. 2.0, I love you guys. Just absolutely fantastic uh, group of clans, um, you know, and just having everyone just, just promote, you know, the same attitude and the same... Same kind of mentality is just fantastic from a family. So I'm uh, really, uh, really happy uh, to spend some time with you guys as well. This other family I have uh, over the holidays on top of my own family. So uh, going to call it a night though, guys. Uh, enjoying my day off. Might even be getting a new job. I had a new job interview today. So see how that one goes. Uh, so that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help it bag that next three star. And until then, I'm out.